uh, welcome back. I am still at uh, Universal, of course, and I uh, am at the uh, original park right now. We're gonna go take care of uh, this thing, my favorite thing to take to Universal with me. I don't know what else to call it. So we're gonna go over here and uh, get this activated pronto. Most of the crowds are uh, hanging out right over by Despicable Me. It seems to be the two go-to attraction around here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in line for this. What should I name the go live video? Um, I wouldn't worry about it yet until the actual parade starts. My friend is gonna Facebook live the uh, holiday parade and I have no idea what time it even starts at. I haven't even asked anybody yet. I guess I'll find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here and be back in a sec. Turns out the uh, machine that I went to go do it at was uh, down at the time. So I guess uh, it's on to Monsters Cafe. We're gonna pass right by Shrek 40 and my goodness, has that is that busier than last time. I mean, for crying out loud, I practically walked on that thing and it's only a 15 minute wait. Maybe it's because they haven't even opened up the doors yet. It's hard to say. They're already playing the Christmas music around here. What else is new? At least the Rip Ride Rock has been open. Ironically, the month of November was just not a good month for the Rip Ride Rocket. Because it was practically broken down the whole entire time. And uh, currently the Forbidden Journey over in Islands is down. Looks like they just started letting in people at Shrek 4D. Over in the distance is the new Jimmy Fallon ride. I've been dying to see what that's all about. We're gonna go in here though. Yeah, I don't know what I was aiming at earlier. This is not what I thought it was. Yeah, now up ahead is where we're definitely going. Now there's the giant Christmas tree that stands right between the uh, new Jimmy Fallon ride over there and the mummy ride. And we're over here now. And after I take care of it, I will be right back. And of course we are back. Uh, that is the uh, stage where Mannaheim Steamroller is gonna be. Uh, he is gonna go off to uh, the mummy. So I'm gonna go let him do that. And I'm gonna go ride that beast. So I'm excited. So I'll meet you over at the mummy in that case. Anyway, thank you guys for your patience. Go ahead. So yeah, I was uh, talking to him and I learned that Hawaii is supposed to receive a uh, foot of snow today, which is ironic because both Florida and Hawaii are very tropical states. And Florida, well, it's about 75, 80 degrees here today and I'm in shorts, so that is a little hard to believe. But eh, it's whatever. I mean, I'm not over there to worry about the snow and I would love to see snow again myself. There it is. So my, some, this is a quick, cool quick fact for you guys. Some of my favorite uh, songs on the Hollywood Riff Ride Rocket are, I'm trying to think here. And then it's um, by, something by ZZ Top, Give Me All Your Love, and that's right, that's right. Um, I also like that new uh, No Doubt song I found out about recently called uh, Hella Good. And I haven't really found anything else good yet other than um, something by the Black Eyed Peas. I know what I'm doing, single writer. It better not be deceiving me. 
I'm going to have to pause it here in a few minutes as I'm getting ready to put this thing in my locker. But I'm about to write for myself. But hey, I will see you guys after this video or after this ride. So I am back once again and I had just uh, gotten off the Rip Ride rocket for my second time and now I'm feeling a little sick myself. I guess um, my uh, roller coasters are getting to me, you could say, considering I've been doing this like every week. So for the next few minutes while I'm on my way to the mummy, I just thought I'd uh, tell you a little bit about my passion for the theme parks. I've been going to uh, Disney my whole life, practically since I was a baby. My dad works for Disney. I'm not gonna say much more than that. So I go uh, a lot. <laughs> and uh, my cousin works for Universal. Not also saying how, what he does, but yes, uh, that was one of my connections into the park. Unfortunately, he can't always get me in, considering my dad has a silver pass, which can get himself and three guests in any time he wants to get people in. And my cousin only gets so many tickets a year, so I decided to get myself a universal, excuse me, pass. Apologize about that. But yeah, that's pretty much um, how that all worked out. And there's Horton holding whatever you call that thing, the spec. We're gonna be wandering through this area right here. But yes, I go to the theme parks a lot. I was actually at uh, the Candlelight Processional last Saturday, and I went and saw Stephen Curtis Chapman. It's one of my favorite Christian speakers um, and singers, and he's writing a book in March. So that will also be very interesting. I'm already almost to the mummy ride myself. And then I'm gonna have to put this on pause again. I'm sure this ride is a, pretty much a walk on this wall. They got a huge group over here. I'm not sure. Looks like they're all from Disney. <laughs> That's always interesting. Running out of the uh, film video here. It's kind of sad. I was really enjoying this. I already see my friend off in the distance. But I might be able to squeeze another minute or two before I'm going to have to wrap this up. But hey, I enjoyed um, these uh, past 10 minutes or so while I could. And uh, I will be back after I brought the mummy. And and I'm sorry about the uh, delay there and if there is any delays later when I uh, upload this to YouTube. So, oh, look who we got here, a SpongeBob. Heh, <laughs> what do you know about that? So, I just uh, got off the, uh, whatever you call it. I got off the Mummy ride and also the Transformers ride here. And I'm running out of film, so I'm gonna have to make this uh, short and quick, but yeah, I rode the mummy ride just once. I was gonna go sit in the front row and it looks like I'm a little too big for that particular row, unless it was just the Cenos and I don't know anyway. And then the Transformers ride was actually kind of disappointing today because last Sunday the ride was, you know, doing great. It just seems like every time I come to Universal, there's always something wrong with the ride or something's doing better than the last time. Eh, it's hard to say, you never know with attractions. But I hate to end this so soon, but unfortunately my uh, camera is running out of room. But hey, um, hopefully you guys will give this video a like, a thumbs up or a like. If you don't like this, my name is Tom or Jonathan. And uh, don't forget to go and uh, post all kinds of crap on my brother's YouTube channel. No, I'm just playing. And please hit that subscribe button as there will be more and more videos coming out soon. I will see you guys in the next video.